So one of the best ways um, we can um, find materials to use uh, in a river restoration project is to actually dig down within the floodplain and try and find the natural gravel seed that's already here. And that's great because it's exactly the right sort of gravel for the riverbed because it was probably once uh, riverbed itself. Um, it's, it's not graded like it would be if you were buying it in. It's lots of different sizes and it will blend into the, the, the river perfectly. Um, now where we can dig that up, um, we can quite often then uh, shape the, the area uh, afterwards to create a kind of wetland habitat which has lots of other ecological benefits. Another thing we can do is make use of bankside trees. Um, we're quite fortunate on this project there's uh, an old poplar plantation and by taking a few of those really big overstood poplars we can make use of the logs um, in combination perhaps with some gravel uh, and with the brushy sort of parts of the tree as well and use that to create the kind of scaffolding really of the, of the riverbank that we can then backfill with, uh, with soil. We'll also translocate the existing margin uh, down to the new margin that we're creating when we're creating new riverbanks. We can just grade down a steep bank if um, we are confident that it's somewhere where it's protected already. So if it's on the inside of a bend, if it's, on, if it's in the lee, a bit of protected bank that we've just built out, um, if the flow is predominantly on the other side of the river, then on these chalk streams you can, in some cases, just grade a river bank down and be pretty confident that it's going to establish and grow uh, and stay there long term. The other thing we can do is bring gravel into the site. Um, that quite often would be gravel from a nearby quarry. In this case, we've got a combination of some quarry gravel and some gravel that's actually stone pickings from uh, harvesting uh, on local fields. Final thing to, to do is to be as smart as we can with the material we've got. So a good example here is the, we've got a temporary access bridge, a pipe bridge that we're um, using to get machinery across the river. At the end of the project this will be taken away, but um, what we'll actually be doing is working our way backwards and reusing this material to build one of the last sort of structures that will actually be on the riverbank over there. So that everything here is, is, um, is essentially reused um, and actually even the, the pipes that we're using under here um, will probably end up getting used in another project.